That's the reason we can't quit. That's right. Because Jesus is coming back. He's coming back for the church. His bride. We want to just encourage you this morning to hang in. I know it sometimes gets heavy. The load, the road, your trap, seem hard and rough. But hang in there, because Jesus is on his way back. He came the first time to be born. We're in the Advent season. But this time, we are not expecting him to be born. Our anticipation and expectation is that we will be caught up in the air right. to go home with him. Right. There to sing forever right. of his saving grace. Yeah. If you will, turn to Matthew 5 and 3. This chapter is known as the Beatitude. And we just want to deal with one person. But they need to be taken in their totality. Mm -hmm. You just can't stop at one. But we're just going to stick a pin in that third verse this morning. And you will find these words, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for there is the kingdom of heaven. I'm reading from the New American Standard Bible. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for there is the kingdom of heaven. Father, here we are again behind this sacred text. Before your people and before you. We decrease that the power of the Holy Spirit, that my words would be thine, that the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart would be acceptable unto thy son. For thy word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. We give you the glory, the honor, and the praise. We declare that we are done in thy name. Amen. Amen. Blessed are the poor in spirit. For there is the kingdom. And if you will allow me to go to the New Living Translation, it will read this way. God blesses those who are poor and realize their need for him. For the kingdom of heaven is that. Or you can stick a pen in there and say, it's mine. And we just want to say this morning that for a subject if we had to use one, it would be a kingdom mindset, part three, the right adder, two. Now, don't be fool. You have your agitator, your accuser, your supposed to be free. But the scripture says this morning that we are blessed. And so often we get that word blessed and happy and blessedness and blessed mixed up. We, you know, most of us when we happy, it's because of something going on on the outside. All right. Something we can see and put our hands on. Or, or, but, but, but this we are talking about this morning here, we have the king summarizing the character and the conduct expected of the subject. So, so the, 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 we are moved by what we feel, what we see or hear. But to be blessed of God, it's not about what's going on on the outside. It's about the God dwelling on the inside and giving us hope and joy. Giving us 
the words alone, peace on the inside yes. and harmony on the outside. So the beatitude, as I said, must be taken as a whole, having as an emphasis the last phrase. Don't close your Bible. Go to the eleventh verse. It sums it up. The eleventh verse simply says, on account of me. On account of me. And if you if you would read it in its entirety according to Matthew in the New Testament. In the King James Version, you will find this. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. So it's saying uh, because of him. If you have your haters, your agitators, or your accusers, and you are being attacked on account of Jesus. Remember Jesus said uh, they hated me first. And if they hated me, they don't hate you. So this morning, uh, if they will be jealous, if they were jealous and rejected Jesus, uh, they're going to be the same way towards you. And the sermon of the beatitude, Jesus addressed to his disciples. It was intended as a constitution, as a law, a principle, or a system of laws and principles to govern the king's subjects. Now, we're not talking about the kingdom of Babylon. The kingdom of the UK. We're not talking about the kingdom of Africa or the kingdom of the United States of America. We are talking about God's kingdom. These laws and these attributes or these qualities or this character or this conduct is meant for you and I. So Jesus here addresses it to the disciples at that time. And it is meant for all past, present, or future who acknowledge Jesus Christ as King. When Christ was on earth, as I said, he directed it to the disciples. But now he's in heaven, seated at the right hand of the Father. So who does it apply to? Who does it apply to? It applies to everyone who will crown him king in our heart, in our heart. If you crown him king and Lord in your heart, this applies to you. God's will, as we read from the 57th chapter and the 15th verse of Isaiah, God wills in a high and holy. Yes. Yes. Uh, the Isaiah said when he saw him, he was high and lifted up yes. above anything that was. Yes. And so here, within the keeping of the lesson in this 15th verse, God is sit high, he holy. Mm -hmm. And he's in a holy place. Yeah. Yeah. He, 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 and he will dwell with those who are poor in spirit. Mm -hmm. Who have a contrite spirit. Who mourn and who are deeply sad by our sins and our predicament and our ways. Yes. And what poor and spirit says to us, I realize 
that I messed up so bad trying to do it my way. I, I, I'm, 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 I'm so selfish. I self-exalted myself. But the poor in spirit realize that I can't do nothing to God. Amen. Poor in spirit says, Lord, I'm depending on you. I'm dependent on you. The poor in spirit. Now, if God dwells in you, if the spirit of God inhabits you, you have some peace this morning. You, you, you have some comfort that the world don't have. All the crime and the shooting and everything that's going on that's against the will of God. Instead of you throwing a pit of heart. Instead of you becoming so frustrated that you can't function. The God in you gives you peace. And it doesn't come from the fact that you got money in the you got a car in the driveway. Yeah. You have somewhere to lay your head. Yes. It comes from the fact that God, the Holy One, who exalted, lives in you. Yeah. And it comes from Him. And so what He so what He says here that there's a word, my pronunciation of it. May not be as it should, but it's spelled M A K A R I O I. And it says that it means to be characterized by qualities of God. You have the qualities of God within you when you bless. Now, you're talking about what the world calls bless. We're talking about what God says is blessed. You have some character. Like your children, they didn't, they didn't choose who they would be born to. Where they would be born. But they have some of you in them. And you wonder sometimes why they say and do certain things. Because it came down through the DNA or the character that is within you and I. And so it bless uh, 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 this word says there are some qualities of God in, in you. And then being blessed by God means again we have experience of hope and joy. Independent. You might have gotten some bad news. You may have received a phone call before you left home. The week may not have been the best as you have wished it to be. And now this old Macron deviant of a, a, a virus uh, is in the news. And you may have some concern. But because of the spirit of the living God living and abiding on the inside. You can have some comfort. Yeah. Your spirit can be revived, although the circumstances of what I hear and see is just depressing me. But because he who liveth on the inside has power to revive, to restore, the brokenness that's in all of us. Yeah. To, to renew the right spirit. Yeah. To renew some joy and some hope yeah. is, that's in us. Yeah. So be, be, be careful when we associate blessedness. And blessedness, the word is M-A-K-A-R. This is Greek. I-O-T-E-S. When one is indwelt by God, yes. the God nature in you and I 
the kingdom is within us. Yes. So you don't have to go searching for the kingdom. All right. If you have received the finished works of Jesus Christ, the kingdom is in you. And what Jesus wants to do is give you his character, yes. give you his quality, yes. give you his attribute. And this is all we are saying this morning. These are the attributes that you and I need. And what we find in this chapter, there's a role for us to play. And then there's a reward. The role is that God blesses those who realize that we need Him. All right. The who, who are they? The poor in spirit. The term poor takes its root from material poverty. Mm -hmm. And you know when we associate the poor in human terms, they have no influence. They have no power. Mm -hmm. They have no prestige. All right. Normally, then as now, they are often taken advantage of. They are often exploited. Yes. But this state of helplessness and destitution can, does, and will lead to a deep dependence on God. Yes. And that's what we got to get. A deep dependence on God. Yes. Quit self-exalting yourself. That this is what I need. Stop letting pride tell you that if it had been for you, <laughs> such and such wouldn't have happened, got done. All right. And we all find ourselves, because pride will not even let us tell, we'll tell the side that makes us look good. But we won't tell the whole story that when I was down, that my pride kept me from saying, Lord, I stretch my hand to the sea. No other help I know. Right. If you would draw yourself from right. oh, well, I shall I go? So quit, 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 quit being so selfish. And let God exalt you. Yes. And what we're saying here is, that an attribute of the poor in spirit is being humble. 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 Being uh, having a spirit of humility. Yes, yes. Even if you walk in on the job tomorrow and you found that you've been promoted. Alright. Don't pat yourself on. Don't start talking about what I need. Mean. Right. Give God the praise yeah, yeah. for opening a door or making a way for you. Yeah. You go home and find something that wasn't there. I'm talking about for good when you left home. Okay. Give God the glory. Yeah. Give God the praise even if you were meditating and asking God for it. Yes, yes. Give him the glory. Yes. The honor and the praise. Because yes. it's God that makes them. Yes. It's God that can set some door. Yes. It's God that we say is a way maker. Yes. He's a hard fixer. Yes. And he's a mind regulator. Yes. So this morning, you will find many people yes. using these few words okay. by the grace of God. Yeah. And if you can't think of nothing else to say, mm -hmm. say by the grace by of God. Uh, and what you just saying is, uh, is how you survive. Yeah. On less uh, than many folks. Uh, yeah. There are so many folks uh, that had more than we had. Yeah. That had than we have. Yeah. Right. And we think that we have something. Yeah, right. uh, but say as the old folks 
7. It was by the grace of God I come to thought. And uh, when we look at where we come from and how far we come, it was nobody but Jesus and the Lord that brought us. So those who are poor in spirit truly realize that there are other Helplessness is on account yes. of sin yes. in our lives. Yes. And we acknowledge yes. our complete dependence yes. upon God. Yes. Not just for spiritual needs. All right. All right. We can't divide God up. Right. We got to depend only for spiritual needs and our physical needs yeah. as we apply. Because the Bible says he owns it. Yes. And why would you separate God? And I've done it. I've tried to say, Lord, I'm going to go here. I'm going to do that. You stay here until I come back. <laughs> we can't separate. <laughs> and when you learn better, <laughs> y'all do better. Yeah, and realizing that we think we can turn the lights off. <laughs> and God don't see. God don't hear what we do. Right. All right. But I found out that in the beginning the earth was dark and void and poor. Yes. Yes. And God being light yes. said let there be. Yes. So with us we can't see. All right. But God who is light yes. can see and even comprehend what's going on in the dark. Yes. And this morning, uh, I'm just trying to tell you, yes. if you'll be poor in spirit, yes. if you will be dependent upon God, yes. he will give you this attribute. Uh, yes. And uh, true, uh, many of us need to learn to detach from material things. Yes. And from spirits up in order to develop a healthy trust. Yes. And attach it to the one and true yes. spirit. Yes. And I'm talking about the Holy Spirit. Yes. Now I know I, I, I understand when when we came from where we came from. Yes. yes. Walking, pulling wagons and all of that. Yes. And we were determined to live a better life. Yes. yes. But don't get so hung up on this material thing. Stay in the spirit. Because as, 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 as we've seen so many times, when we roll up here, there's none of that in our hands. None of that is in that cast. None of that is going to ride behind the hood. None of that. We're going to leave it. So, let's not get too attached. Yes. All, right. all of us like nice things. Yeah. Yeah. But don't exalt it above God. Yeah. So many of us need to learn to detect from material things. Yeah. And why would you say that, preacher? Mm -hmm. Because there is a reward. Yes, I told you about a road. Mm. This scripture said there is a reward. Yes. And it said that the kingdom of heaven is given to them. Yes. Those who have the attributes of God's people. Yes. And there is the kingdom. That's a promise. Yes. Such people are to be found in the kingdom. Yes. Those who belong to it have learned the secret of utterly depending on God, yes. which will lead to complete obedience yes. to his will. Yes. Now, somebody asked, yes. you told me that there's a road and there's a reward. Now, how can I get these attributes? How can I develop a spirit of humility yeah. and humbleness? If you will go with me to James, uh, the fourth chapter, yeah. 
uh, verses 7 to 7 through 10. These are very familiar scriptures. James uh, 4 chapter verses 7 through 10. It simply says that uh, according to the New American Standard Bible, mm -hmm. submit therefore to God. Yes. But resist the devil yes. and he will flee from you. Yes. Come close to God and he will come close to you. <laughs> I'm talking about developing this character yes. and these attributes. Yes. Cleanse your hand, you sinners, All and right. purify your hearts. Yes. You double mind. Yes. Be right. miserable. I'm talking about a contrite spirit now. Yeah. Be miserable and mourn and weep. Oh, Let your laughter be turned in the morning. Right. Yeah. Let your joy be turned in the gloom. Right. But it says, humble yourself in the presence of the Lord. Yeah. And he will exalt you. Yeah. Uh, now, I like the way the New Living Translation says. Yes. It says, so humble yourself yes. before God, yes. resist the devil, yes. and he will flee from you. Yes. Come close to God, and he will come close to you. Yes. Wash your hands, you sinners, uh, purify your hearts. Uh, for our Lord is divided between God and the world. Let there be tears for what we have done. Yes, right. Let there be sorrow and deep grief. Yes. Let there be sadness instead of laughter right. and gloom instead of joy. Yes. But hear the good news, the ten words. Yes. Humble yourself before the Lord yes. and you will be lifted up. He will lift you up in arms. If you wish to be exalted, let God do the exalting. Because yeah. when God does the exalting, uh, no man can pull you down. Right. When God lifts you up, uh, no man can close the door on you. Yeah. Uh, if you want to live this morning as I go on to my clothes, yeah. if you want to live for God, uh, if you got a mind to live for God, yeah. Church, you must be ready to do, to say and to do. Come on, what seems strange to the world? Yeah. They're already calling you this and that. Uh, right. So you all, you might as well go ahead and live for Jesus. Yeah, right. Now, what are you saying, Pastor, if you want to do strange things mm. uh, in the world? Mm. The Bible said that uh, you must be willing uh, to give when others take. Uh, you, you must be willing to love when others take. Uh, you must be willing to help when others abuse. Uh, by giving up your own rights in order to serve others. Uh, you will one day receive everything God has in store for you. The Lord this morning, his disciples. Yes. Blessed are we on account of him. Yes. Yes. Blessed are you when people insult you, yeah, right. persecute you, yes. they lie on you, yes. and say all kind of evil things about you yes. because yes. of me. Yes. One Friday evening, yes. uh, they accuse you. They ridicule him. Uh, they lied on him. Uh, yes. They uh, abused him. Uh, yes. They beat him. Uh, uh, they brought false accusations. Yes. They brought false witness uh, right. before the council. Uh, yes. And uh, he was turned over into the hand of sinful men. Yes. He was crucified. Uh, but the third day he rode with all power. Yes, yes. I know he wrestled against principalities yes, yes. and 
and power and spiritual weakness. Yes. I know there's nuclear power. Yes. There is war power. Yes. There is energy power. Yes. There is atomic power. Yes. There is holy ghost power. Yes. But the Bible says Jesus rose with all power. Yes. And that power that he had for them that are agitating you. Yes. For them that are lying on you. Yes. Let God handle yes. You pray for them. And let God handle them. Don't you do as the world do. For yes. Jesus is coming back yes, yes. for the church. Yes. Without spot or wrinkle. Yes. And he said, uh, bless of the poor in spirit. Yes. Uh, for there is the kingdom of heaven. Yes. And we ought to be different. Yes. All of us uh, yes. have a past. Yes. And I know it's folk that will try to break up your past. Yes. But what you tell them, uh, that will be me. <laughs> and uh, I'm now, <laughs> now somebody said, uh, if you go in the book of Acts, uh, yes. before Pentecost, so, Peter would cuss you out. And be some of us in there. Uh, before Pentecost, Peter would take a knife and cut your ear off. But uh, that ought to be some of us here in the night. But because of the power and the presence of God, I'm not the person I used to be. I'm not a child. So when we close down yes. my words to you, yes. be better and not bitter. <laughs> be better and not bitter. Because uh, this time uh, when Jesus come back, uh, yes. you know when he went in the temple at 12 years old, yes. he said the spirit that is upon me, yes. he has anointed me to preach the gospel to yes. the Lord. Yes. But there's a line that he stopped at. Yeah. And uh, because uh, he came to save his people for from their sin. But when he comes back this yeah. time, yeah. he's coming back uh, yes. with vengeance. Uh, yeah. He's coming back with judgment. Yeah. Uh, so every lie that's been told on you, so every person uh, that befriended you, yeah, all right. and you found out they weren't your friend, yeah. Jesus said he's coming back to judge. Yeah. He's coming back with vengeance. Yeah. So this morning, yeah. be better.